Now, to be honest, I have not listened to the new Hunter Biden laptop audio. I believe it was the uh, Washington Examiner that got its hands on this or made it available to us. So we're going to sit here and listen to it without interruption from me. I'm going to hear it the first time. Many of you may hear it the first time. On television, they can't play all five and a half minutes or so. That's why we have Levin TV right here in this platform. So let's listen to what he has to say. Again, I haven't heard it, but I hear it's pretty amazing. Go. I think that the most important thing, if you are me, is to use your in attention with intention. You will not get across to everybody, and I have figured out a long time ago, if you're going to be involved in politics the way that I am, which is to, to choose to engage with my father in that life, mm -hmm. because I believe in what he does. Mm -hmm. If you're going to, then you, one of your obligations is to use that platform with intent. Mm -hmm. It's to not allow the platform to sit on top of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm allowing the platform to sit on top of me right now. Well, what happens is if, you know, if your dad becomes president, for instance, or if he runs, mm -hmm. it's a very, um, if, if, I don't know if it will be exposed to that degree, but if it does. Wonderful. If it does, then it's a possibility for your dad to talk about drug reform and to talk about and to push. He's going to talk about drug reform and any other thing that I want him to. Mm. He'll talk about um, mm. anything that I want him to that he believes in. If I say this is important to me, mm. then he will work a way in which to make it a part of his, of his platform. Mm. My dad respects me more than he respects anyone in the world, and I know that to be certain. Mm. So it is not going to be about whether my dad thinks it's going to affect his politics. It, no, it won't. It's not going to be whether or not he's going to be embarrassed. I mean, he never will. Mm. It's not going to, I'm, all of those concerns that you have with all of the people that you know, mm. that are in the, that are the children of, mm. I have none of them. Mm. Not a single one. Mm. The only one that I have is the, is the knowledge mm. that it's a different world, not by choice. Mm. But I am understanding of that because the person that has lived that life, that has given me this life, mm is the person I most admire in the world, and I would never change it, mm. because it's bigger than me. Mm. Everyone else thinks it talks about how, how can you be as good as your dad? I'm better than my dad. Mm. Mm. You know why I'm better than my dad? Because my dad tells me I'm better than him, mm. since I was two years old. Mm. So all of those fears that you think that I have of people not liking me, mm. or that I don't love myself, and first I have to go down, and I, you have to really care about yourself, and understand, and put yourself out there. Mm. Baby, have you seen me? Do I not put myself out there? Mm, yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, all of it yeah. I put out there. Yeah. To you mm. or to the homeless person? Mm. Mm. I don't fear that. You know I don't fear that? Mm. Because the, my, the man I most admire in the world, that God to me, mm. thinks I'm a God. Mm. And my brother did too. Mm. Can you make any sense of this? He has a pretty low regard for his father, regardless of what he says, because he knows he's not what his father thinks he is or says he is. That's number one. Number two, he's an addict, and he admits it, which is a good thing, but in terms of admitting it, he has no intention of getting over. This is before the election. Uh, number three, is it really possible, I guess my main takeaway from this, is it really possible for Hunter Biden to have been involved in all of these business transactions, to be talking about the big guy, to be talking about funneling money and all the rest of it without his father knowing all this? They're that close? The answer is no. And with all these investigations of Donald Trump and charges against people who won't testify in front of the January 6th Stalinist Committee, and now they're going after Kimberly Guilfoyle. They go after Ginny Thomas. And isn't it just amazing that there hasn't been a single hearing on the Biden family and their money and their activities? Who's the president right now? Is it Joe Biden? Yes. Well, how come he's not the focus? How come it's the man who's not president right now, Donald Trump? And so you got to conclude from this that not only does this kid have a He's not a kid, really. He have a huge problem. His father has a huge problem. Uh, kind of lets things go. Thinks this guy is the smartest person he's ever met. And uh, that's pretty frightening. Uh, this is a very sick family.
to be perfectly honest with you. And the man is now president of the United States, and there's no checks and balances. I mean, I can only imagine if the shoe were on Donald Trump's foot, and this was one of his kids, and over $30 million was, uh, was, was shoveled into his family from foreign governments and, and uh, corporations that are really fronts for foreign governments and so forth. It, may, it really makes you wonder. For more, sign up for Levin TV.